What's going on guys, Cooks46 here, bringing you another MLB The Show 17 news update. Today guys, we got our franchise mode live stream from San Diego Studios, and it went deep into all of the new franchise features that we already covered from the GameStop Monday video that, you know, covered them in brief, and it just went a little bit more into detail. There is one specific uh, feature they went into that they didn't touch too much on in the video, and that is player quirks. We are going to go into that in a separate video, but for this one guys, I want to show you the two new legends that they revealed live on stream you guys know that they've been releasing these legends periodically throughout the streams and today we got not one but two new diamond legends so let's see who we got the first player is going to be from the american league east from the baltimore orioles guys we have 1973 hardware jim palmer he's a 90 overall diamond so we've got another legend pitcher to go along with Warren Spahn. Jim Palmer's 1973 season, he won the Cy Young Award, finished in the runner-up spot in the American League MVP, but he went 22-9 with a 2.40 ERA in almost 300, 300 innings pitched, excuse me. Struck out 158 batters. Honestly, if it was me and I was choosing the card, I would have went with 1975 because he went 23-11 with a 2.09 ERA in more innings pitched and over 300 innings pitched with more strikeouts so overall the statistical numbers were a little bit better but still 1973 another Cy Young season really really solid so let's take a look at our attributes he's got four seam fastball slider curveball changeup two seam so a five pitch guy he's a righty you see stamina is 94 85 hits through 9, 65 Ks through 9, 80 home run 9, 80 clutch. The 77 and 75 for velocity and break, that's actually really interesting. In MLB 16, the main component of a pitcher that you wanted to have more than anything was velocity. So when people saw his 77 velocity, everybody was kind of like, eh, that's not that good, I probably won't use that that much. One of the big things that everybody has to remember is the new ball physics. When you're looking at a pitcher and you're looking at his stats, you have to keep break in mind as well now because if you think about how the ball is going to react when it comes off the bat who knows what type of hits we're gonna see from that now the fastball still needs to be fast so the velocity is still going to be a, a factor but it's interesting to think about how the new ball physics can actually play into how the pitchers break and how their speed from velocity actually will affect everything in the long run of things also his fielding is really really good in the mid to upper 70s all the way up to 88 fielding for all of those stats so really really good card here another it's a diamond and i i'm really excited to actually try this card out the next card we got guys is a, like i said another diamond this one is going to be a 91 overall we've got a 1995 a breakout eric Karros. eric Karros has been in the commentators booth of mlb the show from mlb 11 all the way to mlb 16 unfortunately he's not in this year because we've got the new presentation features with harold reynolds and dan plesak so if he's going to come out of the game let's throw him back in there as an actual playable card in diamond dynasty looking at his 1995 season with the los angeles dodgers he hit 298 so almost at 332 home runs and 105 rbis really monster uh uh, you know offensive season right there his OPS was 905 his on base percentage was 369 he finished fifth place in the MVP voting and he won the silver slugger that year so overall it's a very good hitting card so his attributes should reflect that so let's take a look so here we go he's got 79 92 contact 95 63 power so a really good hitter against righties good righty righty matchup really good discipline a really good clutch 63 vision is okay good durability pretty average fielding and pretty good speed for a first baseman this is a guy you honestly want to have in like the middle of your order maybe like the five spot or something like that if this is going to be somebody that you're going to pursue he's a good right-handed bat really good for righty righty matchups he's got some good numbers against lefties as well but overall this is going to be a very solid hitting card and it's a very solid diamond i think for a breakout so there you guys have it those are the two new legends that were revealed today in the franchise live stream like i said we're going to make a whole nother video talking about the specific new feature of player quirks that i really want to get into for franchise mode in another video hopefully that'll be up like tomorrow or something but i wanted to highlight the new legend players let me know what you guys think of these legend players let me know if you like them let me know if you don't but anyway guys that's all i have for you today so i really hope you enjoyed and if you did make sure you hit that like button down underneath this video make sure you guys subscribe so you never miss any more mlb the show 17 news updates and guys that's all i have for you today so i hope you enjoyed and until the next video i will see you later